Hi, the bolded word is um, it's a uh, kibun. Hi, kibun. What does kibun mean? Kibun is um, kibun is like uh, his his like his genki in a way. His his um. It can be used for Genki, I guess. Kibun is like the vibes you're feeling. It's so not the vibes you're giving off, it's what you're feeling. So it could be Genki. You could have you could be in an E Kibun, Kibun Gai, probably. <laughs> but uh it doesn't have to be. In this specific sentence, it says um if you dress up like a um street rat, then you also feel like a street rat. Your vibes internally are street rat like. Hi. Uh, can you read this for me? Nasake. Hi. Any idea what that means? Hmm. Something like a feeling of. That's a good guess. So nasake is kind of like pathetic. 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 Hi. Nasake. Pathetic. Um. It's It can also be used to mean um pity. Um, it's probably meeting pity and like to have mercy or pity somebody. Um, so it depends on like context, how it's used. Um, how do you read this kanji? This, that there is na, na, sa, ke. Yep, na, sa, and the kids down there. Na, sa, ke. Na, sa, ke. Na, sa, ke. Hi, can you read this for me? Um that there is nasake nai hi so nasake nai it basically is used to mean um miserable miserable nasake nai there's Sorry. there's no pity to be given that's how pitiful they are i guess it's just kind of funny how it works um for nasake do never really use yeah um can you read this bolded phrase for me uh, kibun ga warui. Hi. In a bad state, in a bad mood. Yeah, to be in a bad mood, bad state. It's, it's, by being in a bad mood, it's more like to be sick, I would say. Uh, it's, yes. it's, your internal vibes are bad. You're not really causing other people to be bad if you're kibun zan warui. Uh, for example, in this sentence, this is nebri, it says, kyo wa kaze no se de. Which is because of my cold, I am a step more uh, miserable than I was before, basically. Uh, can you read the example for me? Hi. Nasake nai kibun ni natta dorobo wa neko ni nari ta katta. The pitiful, the pitiful feelings, the thief that became pitiful, uh, wanted to become a cat. Hi. So, what kind of what is kibun? What does that mean? Kibun is his feeling or his mood. Is this an outward thing or an inward thing? This is an inward feeling. Hi, hi. So it means he's come to feel pathetic. We probably are just like to. So it's not that. It's just like his his he emotionally feels pathetic, right? No one else is looking at him and being like, "You're pathetic," but he feels pathetic. He Can you hear this for me? Feel pathetic. Tamara nai. Hi. Tamara nai means um, I cannot stand it, right? Um, um, and it can be used, I guess, to mean tremendous in some contexts, but literally it says I cannot stand it. Tamaru okay. is to stand something. I cannot um, stand it. What is the passive form of you? The passive form of you is e. Uh, I e era I e So eru is um potential form. 
So ieru is potential form. Ieru. This is iwareru. 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 What is the adverb form of tamaranai? The adverb form tamaranaku. Hi, tamaranaku. Perfect. And what does tamaranai mean? Tamaranai is intolerable. Yes, Unbearable. Intolerable. Perfect. Hi. Can you read this sentence from the book? Neburi ni so so you are to ma tamara naku nasake 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 nai kibun ni natta his mood he started to feel he he felt he felt a uh, pitiful intolerably pitiful perfect uh after when when nobody uh say say such a thing to him perfect once he said that nice and can you read this word for me like to help perfect right and now we're starting the diary entry. Do you know what shinobi yoru means? Shinobi yoru is uh, subayaku. Nothing. Oh, yeah. Shinobi yoru. Shinobi yoru. Oh, it had nothing to do with shinobi, right, Mani? Um, it does have to do with a shinobi. A shinobi would be very shinobu. To shinobu is to, and then yaru is to do. So to do shinobu. Hi. Um, yoru here is uh, uh, to get close. Yoru is uh, to get close. Yeah. It's it's shinobu is to endear something. Uh no, shinobu is to be sneaky. Oh, uh, shinobu is to be sneaky. Right, to be sneaky, shinobu. And yoru is to get closer. So shinobi yoru means to sneak up to something. So it to says, I swiftly me. sneak up to the behind the old man. Hmm. Can you read this word for me? Hebura. Hebura, Hebura means empty handed. Empty handed. Hi. Do you know what sekaku means? Sekaku. 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 It's sekai. It's sekai. From the adjective sekai. Uh, theoretically, but you never hear sekai. It's always sekaku. It's always sekaku. Mm -hmm. What is sekaku? Um. Sekaku means like to go all to the way, all out of your way to do something. Go out of your way. Hi. And what's, the you... and what's the other bolded word on this page? It's uh, seifu. Saifu. Seifu. Saifu himo. Right. What's a saifu himo? The saifu is a wallet of some sort. Perfect. What does shinobi komu mean? Shinobi is to sneaky. Shinobu Hi. is to be sneaky. Komu is to go inside. Yes. To sneak in. It does mean to sneak in. Perfect. And um, what does tebura mean? Tebura is to be empty handed. Perfect. And what does sekaku mean? Sekaku is the, um, to go out of your way. Perfect. What's the causative form of shinobi komu? So rather than to sneak in, it is to make something sneak in. To be forced to sneak in. To be allowed to sneak in. To force to sneak in or to be allowed to sneak in? The causative shinobi komaseru. 
Hai komaseru. Perfect. Can you read this example sentence for me? Suite inai. Ore wa tebura de modotte shimatta. I returned. Modo is to return, Modoru. Or to arrive. No, Bodoru means to return. To return. Bodoru is to return. Um, so I end up returning empty handed. Hi, hi. Is this having, a good thing or? Hi. But she, it started with the situation, the description of I as I who. Hi, who is sweet and I. Than I. I who um, is not attached. Attached to I'm what do you think? Yes, I'm not lucky. The I who is unlucky returned empty handed. Side face. <laughs> that. Hi, hi. Do you know how to read this word up here? That there is ma jutsu do. Do Perfect. the place. What does sekaku mean? Sekaku is the. Um, Go out of go out of one's way. Perfect. To make, to make and if a sentence ends with towa, this is basically just a way to show surprise. Um, like what? That thought has happened crazy. That's what it feels like. Um, so let's go read the line from the book. Surprise. Mataku. Good riddance. I know. In this case, it's more like good grief. Good grief. I know, yeah, 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 that depends. Uh, useless, the useless boy, right? The tatsu, Hai. no, the ya, ya, ya tatsu. Yaku datsu. Yaku no kozo ne. Uh, it's, uh, it's you, you boys you useless boy hi my goodness what a useless boy what a useless boy sekaku mado machutsu do ni shinobi komaseta no ni um despite despite uh, i'm sneakily um Despite sneaking you into the a magical hall, modotte. Uh, so you tebura de modotte iru towa. He he towa expressing um, like uh, surprise Hi. that that you came back empty-handed. Hi. So do you know what a niki is? A Nikki. Hi, Nikki. A Nikki is like a diary entry. It is a diary entry, yes. So currently we are reading Nevery's diary. So you translated this totally correctly, but you acted like Nevery was talking to someone. Like Nevery was talking to the boy saying, Hey, you useless child. Even though I brought you into that building, you just came back empty handed. You know, that, right. that's, you're talking to someone. But now this is what he wrote in his diaries. He says, good grief. What a useless child. Even I can't believe he came back here like empty handed, even though I made him go over. I allowed him to go into the magician's building. I went all the way out of my way to do that. Right. He's writing a diary. So in this case, basically everything is about him. I am never. E. This is how this has affected me throughout the day. Um. And Toa as, as like a word is very like third person-y. You wouldn't really use Toa about some, like directly when talking to somebody showing surprise towards something they did. It's more like something you use to express surprise about an action that happened, but more like not too directly to the person who did that, that if that makes any sense. It's, it's a very like third, it's like a gossipy. <laughs> <laughs> they got it like that. It's like you're gossiping about them. Hi. Um, okay, do you know how to read this word? Um, 
that there is a henshi no jutsu. Hi. Henshi no jutsu, transformation technique. Perfect. Do you know what kakaru means? I think in some contexts it's to start. It to does start. mean to start in some contexts. That's correct. Um, um, I would say that's probably the most useless of the of the three meanings of kakaru. I mean, like it, like uh, it actually to start is very useful. Specifically, it's the starting area, but it's not like to start. It's the it's the beginning of an action, which you'd think that would be like the same thing, but they are very different in Japanese, right? If you were to start an action, you would probably use hajimeru, but we're talking about the beginning area of the action. So like to start is before you even begin, right? Well, kakadu is you've started it already. You're in that beginning section of whatever that entails. Um, what is the stem form of kakadu? The stem is kaka. Kakari. Hi, Kakari. Can you read this bullet word for me? There is um, to visit. That's, That's a good guess. Visit. You're right that that kanji there looks a lot like yoru, which is the same kanji, which means to get closer. But this case, it's like to get closer to the idea of myo, which is right here, because um, this is a uh, kimyo. Uh, which means strange. Do you know what myo means? Myo? Hi, myo. Myo. Strange? Odd? Hi. Yes, it does mean strange and odd. Perfect. So both of these mean the same thing, just kimyo just makes it a little bit closer. Can you read this word for me? Uh, kakari kata. Hi, kakari kata. So there's multiple ways you could possibly translate this. It could be um, the one who does like beginning processes or whatever, or the way in which you do a beginning process. I'm gonna have to see what the context is. Uh, okay, so the context is, is that one of the meanings of kakadu is, we already did the start, but a different meaning of kakadu is to um, cover something. For example, a bridge covers a river right goes over that you can also get cover a donut in sugar right so when you cast a magical spell one of the many words that you can use to express that as different spells might take different words depending on the artist i mean the writer um kakadu has the idea of a like powering over a item with a magic spell type of idea kind of like an engulfing feel tends to be what it means um, so in this case, it is referring to the casting of a magical spell on somebody. So kakari kata is the way in which one casts the spell on you, but specifically mm -hmm. a spell that should fully engulf you. So you probably wouldn't use kakaru if you were like casting a spell to cause lightning out, right? Kakaru is more like the henshin no jutsu, right? You're casting the spell over somebody. Um, so the start with kakari, what did it end with? Kata. Hi, kata. Perfect. Kata. Um, how do you read this word? Uh, mio. That there Hi, is strange. Mio. Strange. Perfect. Strange. Hi. So let's go continue. Neveri's diary entry. Um. Sore ni shitemo. Sore ni shitemo. Ki ki kon ki kon. Konkai. Kongai no hen shi no jutsu no kakari kata wa mio datta. It was strange that um, despite sore ni shite mo, despite, despite I'm doing that, despite having performing that, you shite mo, kongai no hen shi no jutsu no kakari kata wa. Um, in, in doing that kind of a um, transformation spell. Hi, what does konkai mean? Konkai is this time around, right? This time around, yes, perfect. Hi, so even with that happening, it's quite strange the way in which the spell was cast this time. Uh, can you read this word? That is like, 
that is in that is what is he doing to the kami uh not the most common way this verb is used um he never really thinks khan has shirami inside of his kami so he decides to shiraberu what does shiraberu mean shiraberu to speak Good guess. That's shaberu. Shaberu is to speak. Totally different kanji. Shabe. This is shira beru. No relationship at all. Um, there is an eu radical in there, but it doesn't really have any real link with talking. Shira beru means to search. Search. And it tends to be like a searching through like a very specific section which is why they're using it with the hair um it's not really like to search like a wide like i'm gonna like if you're looking for someone who went missing you're not going to use shirabidu or if you lost your wallet you're not going to use shirabidu probably use a different verb um but looking at hair apparently use shirabidu okay it's almost more like to confirm looking because this is most commonly used with like uh researching something like reading books to find information, that kind of idea. Like the idea is that you have a set thing to look inside to find it. So here's a set hair to look inside to find it to confirm if there's shirami inside. Um, mm. Do you know how to read this word? Shiraberu, shiraberu. That's right. his, betsu or betsu. Right. Uh, not betsu, but it is retsu. You're right. Retsu. What does retsu mean? Retsu meaning steel or iron, isn't it? Uh, tetsu. No. Tetsu is the word you're thinking of. Tetsu. Which means iron. Tetsu. This is retsu with an R, retsu, which means line. Retsu. Retsu is a line. Specifically, this is a line of people. It's a line. Um, if you're drawing a line, I believe that's sen. Uh, so that is a line, like a Q, that kind of line. A line, a line. So that as a kanji um, looks like this, right? It has this little weird guy that looks like ta and then a d afterwards. A word that looks almost identical to that and sounds very similar is re. All we did was add the person kanji. So when you add a person to a line, for some reason, this means example. Some reason that may have said. I don't know how adding a person to a line becomes an example, but I guess uh, an example of a line is you have a person and another person, maybe a third person. Aha, we got an example of a line. Um, what is line in, what is example in Japanese? It's from the word to line with a person, so it's re, re. Yes. Perfect. So, can you read this kanji for me? It is a re from. Hi. Example. Perfect. Let's go read this example sentence. Isn't now. that also the meaning of tatoeba? Tatoeba, correct. Um, tatoeba. Look at that kanji. It's example. It's it is example. It's the day. <laughs> so it's a ray. Uh, tatoeba no re. It's the ray from tatoeba. Exactly. Tatoeba no re this height. Tatoeba re this height. This is shiraberu. Hi. It's therefore shirabetara from the when form. Hmm. Sirabetara reo Mitsuketa. Hi. Mitsuke is found. Yes. When I found it, or when he found it. Where, where, there's a win after Mitsuketa? The win's up here. This Tara. Hi. So when I saw, or he saw, He's he found the example when he searched. When I yes. Hi. Found the example when I searched. Perfect. Do you know what kakko means? Kakko. Ka, ko, ko, ko is ko 
co is um co co is uh it's o isn't it co is o uh no that's fudu the coal here comes from like to leave something behind which i can never remember what it is i want to think it's satoru and that's like, someone's name sa 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 saru no something like that it means to leave do you know what uzu means uzu is like bones or it looks like the character for bones uh it probably hone Oh, hone, 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 hone. Um, oh, hone. No. If this is reminds it? you of hone, that is more useful to what I was going to say. Hone has a square up here too, a little mm. bit different, but that's correct. Um, this word kakko means past. It's a time. It's a time word, Mani. It mm. indicates the time of action. Not really. It's more like the noun that means um past. The the past. The past. Like kind of like saying history a little bit. Like like the past is a better translation for it, but like if you're saying it in the in the past, like if you're gonna like doing like a blah 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 blah, you'll be more likely right to use Toki or something or Ida or something. Probably Toki. Like Chisai Toki was being when I was little. You wouldn't say like Kodomo no kako, that'd be really weird. The, ch the childhood of the past, the past childhood or whatever. It's just, um, it's a, it's a more of a scientific -y word, basically, kako. This is more okay. like just to tell you what a history book is, I think. Oh, I see. Um, that ka, that ka is a uh, sugiri no ka. It's ka from sugiri. Yes, that to is go, correct. To go to past. Go past. And the coal is the, the thing that was left behind. Yes, so Sadu, to leave behind. To leave I... behind. So it's a together is a compound noun that means like the past, that which was yes. in the past. Yes, that which was went too far and left you behind. Saru, Saru, and right. Sugiru. So it ended with coal. What did it start with? It's ka. Ka Perfect. And nice. And what is the so, negative form of this word? Uh, that there is saberu. The negative form sabenai. Sarabena. Right. Shirabe nai. Shirabe. Shirabe. Oh my. What does shirabe sound, mean? It actually sounds like a, a person named Shirabe. <laughs> shirabe san. <laughs> shirabe nai. Shirabe is to search. It's... Perfect. Hi. So let's but go read I'm the example. I'm guessing mm. this this search is not a. I think there's another word for searching that for when you know specifically the item you're searching for. Shirabe like... is normally not used for items. It was used in the first example sentence I showed you, which was looking through somebody's hair, but it's more like to look for information. It's more what shirabudu means. Like, if you're going to research something in a library, you're going to be using the verb shirabudu. Right. Because earlier in the book, we also came across sagasu, which is to yes. seek out something, which means that yes. it's, it's something you had in mind, a target. Whereas uh, shirabudu yes. is sort of like an investigation to, 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 to get information as opposed to search for a person or for a thing. Yes. Yes. Um, sagasu, which can have two different kanji depending on the vibe you want it to have, is used for items, jobs, people, uh, things. Just, just, this is the more general searching vocab word. But these are not really used for research purposes. Um, so I guess it's a pre existing item you're searching for versus info. Hi. Right. Mani, there's also the word to inquire is tazineru. Yes, but that's it's like the ask a question, like kiku. Kiku. It's from the kanji for kiku. Hai. Hai, Tazu. that's correct. Tazuneru can have the same can have the same kanji as kiku. To mean the other to ask. Kiku to ask. Tazuneru. Well, these are the same kikus but the kanji gives you different vibes uh this kiku is a different kiku though 
no relationship with the others. But these three kikus are all the same verb. Um, you just would pick a kanji if you wanted it to have vibes. Like this is generic, this is to ask, and this is to listen. Um, That's a little. Yeah, say, that same that. as tazuneru to ask, same kiku. Same yes, kiku. they both need to ask. Um, but you're right, this is more like to inquire. But that, that, that was the thing, yeah. Let's go read the example sentence. All right, the example here is um, Oma ko shaku. Wa kako o shirabeta. The Duchess searches for the past. Hi, that's exactly what it says. Perfect. Um, so, uh, in case you're curious about the O, remember how O has two meanings, right? One version of O, right, is for like an object. The second meaning of O is for what? Second version of O is the the location to which you leave behind. Uh, kind of like leave behind. It's a location in which like you kind of go through. It's not your end destination. And it's so leave behind is a good way to think about it. So here it's kami o shiraberu, right? To search through the hair. So the word through tends to work really well for that. So here, kako o shiraberu is more like the search through the past than to search literally the past. Um, do you know how to read this word? Hmm. I see. So it could also be an area that is traversed, a section that you go across. Hi. Wakata. Nite iru is to, to be similar to. Hi, to be Nite similar iru. to. Yes. Um, this word started with ka. What did it end with? End with ko. Perfect. Hi. Let's go read the example sentence. Example is um, Higure no Kimi, Lord of Twilight. Kako ni towards the past. Nigeta rega. The example that resemble the past. Ataka um, Ataka do. Ka. Somehow, shirabeta nda. Atta ka. Atta. Atta is from aru. And he say um, ka. He say warm. Uh. So um, atta ta kai is warm. There's a lot of ta's in there though. Atata. So um atata at atta kai right? Atta kai. At would have that kai afterwards. So you so you're thinking like ah ataka. But this is atta from the verb aru and then we have kadoka. Which do you know what kadoka means? Somehow or another. Kind of, like, yeah. Some um, way normally, of... it's, so normally it's trans. There's no really way in there, but I do see why you would assume that because do is the way in which is the question word that refers to the questioning of, um, what's it called? Uh, of an action which doesn't really exist in English because we, we we would use how or what, and kind of depending on context. Right, so like do nika means like what will I do or whatever. Um, but kadoka is normally translated as whether or not because it's they use the same way ka is used in the middle of a sentence, but you can only use ka in the middle of sentence if you already have a pre existing verb in that sentence. Like doko ni sumu ka shiranai means I have no idea where you live. The ka is just there the mark the end of the question sentence and that's what kadoka is doing but we don't have a question word in atta there's no like doko ni atta or something like that it just says atta kadoka so this is more likely to be translated as whether or not it exists 
because atta means to exist, right? So it's more whether or not exists, I shirabetanda. Let's see, it say that the Lord of Twilight, he searches, he search whether, he searched for whether it exists an example similar to that in the past. Perfect. That's exactly what it says. Nice. Do you know what a rekishi is? Yes, reki is forbidden. That's she a good is... guess. Um, because you're thinking about kinshi, which looks like this, forbidden. Kinshi. They are very similar, right? They both got these trees in here and there's a little tomato right there. So even sounds similar. Rekishi though means history. Rekishi is history. Hi. Story. This ended with she. What did it start with? It ended with a reki. Hi, rekishi. Perfect. That's ki that she from Hi. history is from sky, right? So, 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 skau is to use to make use? No. Skau. Oh, it had the it had the hito Hi. kanji in front. Hito. I see it's similar, but it's not it. Yes, it's very similar. Ska, okay, it's she, it's in history. So reki shi sho, the book of history or the Quran. Yes, that is what it means. Yes. Right. Uh, right. Uh, let's go read the example sentence. Look at that. Um, Rekishi so to you know what? He say to you know what? It means he gave the definitions. He say the chronicle is um, kako ni suite sho suite ki kite aru honda. Um, it is the book that was written uh, in the past. So the, the, the Chronicle is, is a book where the past is written in it. Perfect. Do um, you know what Shirusu means? Moni, I have a question about the yes. use of uh, Toyuwa. Why is it not the case that they just you wa? Suppose they just remove to you no. You say rekishi wa? Yeah, what if they just say, okay, rekishi wa is da da da. You could do that. Wa. That'd be grammarly correct. Um, a Japanese person probably wouldn't say it. Rekishi wa honda. Um, history is a book. Because to you is, is just a grammar point, basically, that is used to show that you are defining a word and not listing a quality of that word, right? Like, um, um, what does, like, if you said, um, dorobo, dorobo wa, eto, konda, right? Uh, kon being the name of the main character, the thief is kon. You're, you're listing like a quality, I guess, of the thief, that that is the thief's name. You're not actually listing the definition of a thief, right? So, toyu no wa konda would make you go, oh, a thief means kan. That's the meaning of the word. <laughs> so it's just there as a grammar point to make it obvious that we are defining a word and not just listing a quality of the word, right? Because this would be incorrect. Dorobo to you konda doesn't make any sense. What do you mean the definition of a thief is con? That doesn't make any sense. Con is a thief, but that's not the definition. Uh, English doesn't really have this distinguishment, right? So it makes sense why we'd be like, yeah, what's the point in that? But it just, this grammar exists, so you're going to be using it. Same thing with counters, right? English doesn't really have very many counters other than a sheet of paper. But when the counter does exist, we use it. You could say, can me one paper. Sounds a little bit weird, but we would not we would understand what you're saying. But handing me a sheet of paper just sounds better because we know as an English speaker that sheet happens to have a counter, which toys do not. So hand me one toy, perfectly fine. 
So Japanese has a grammar point which is used to illustrate definitions of items. So because of that, if it's not there, it sounds weird when it's lacking. I see. Look at that one. Hi, hi, hi. Um, shirusu is very similar to the verb kaku, uh, kaku, which means to write. Both of these mean to write. Shirusu is more like to write down specific, like, factual information, like to record something or to document something is shirusu. Versus kakuing is more like writing in general, writing a book or just writing words in a list or anything like that. But shirusu is more specific. Um, it's very much documenting something. There should be no emotions with your shirusuing. Um, oh. Uh, this word started with reki and ended with sho. What was the mid middle part? It's reki shi, the history. Hi. Perfect. And what's the te form of shirusu? Te form of shirusu is shiru shite. Shiru Isn't that the verb for to record? Yes, it is the verb for to record. Perfect. It's to record. Hi, so let's go read. Oh, wait, uh, before you read this, as a reminder, Nuba comes from Nara Nai, right? Um, so, Shirabe Nakireba Nara Nai, but it got slurred to just Nuba. Um, so, let's go read the line from the book. Um, line from the book. Hi, uh, Sen, sen Bento, Sa, sa Bento. Ga shirushita ma jutsu no reshikisho de kakoni nieta re ga atta kadoka shirabeneba. Let's say that shirane shi. I need to search for he I, I need to search whether or not there is an example similar there to there is a, an example similar to this in the past via or using the book of record of magic. Um, that was written or that was recorded by um, Sapento. Perfect. I would just would say written. We don't really use the word recorded all that much in English. I would just let you know why Shirushita is here. If it said Kaita, that'd be a little bit weird because this is a book on history. What do you mean she wrote the book of history? Is this a fake book of history? It would give off that kind of vibe. Like, not necessarily, but like we have this here to show that she is good at her history job. <laughs> She's writing the facts down. Uh, can you read this word for me? Mm, the book of history. Hi, it's a uh, yakutatsu. So it's yakutadasu. Hi. Useless. Perfect. Yakutadasu. Useless. And what's this word? Honkai. Perfect. And how about this one? That there is Nyo. Nyo. Mystery. Strange. Perfect. Do you happen to remember what Tomo now means? It's been a while since we've seen this word. Tomo. Tomo from together. Friends. That's a good guess. Tomo now has nothing to do with well, I mean, I, it has a little bit to do with Tomo together. But officially, it has nothing to do with it. But you would probably guess what it means by tomo. So I guess it's not wrong to think about it that way. It's just it's a verb. Uh, <laughs> what, what was your thought process? I was just thinking it's tomo as in together. And so yeah. it's had, it has something to do with being together. Yeah. Now, now is like, I don't know. I don't know what now is, but. I guess yes, now something. could mean to do or to twine. To twine. Uh, to twine yeah. up together. 
To twine up together, yeah. So it means to be together somehow. To to. It does okay. mean to be together. Tomo now means to accompany with. Right. Officially, now, no relationship, but it, it perhaps it is related, and they just chose a different kanji for it. This right, right. here says um, to be accompanied with danger, basically. And um, which is danger was like uh, I know this word. Why am I forgetting? Danger is um. Oh my. Key, 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 it's had the same reading character. It, it, I mean, swords are pretty, pretty, pretty uh, can, can, dangerous. Can. Dangerous. What the? Uh, but yeah, Ken apparently means steep. I so, see. Because that, because key is the dangerous part, right? Because it's um, abunai. 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 Dangerous. Steep. So it says steep danger. Steep danger. Mani, did you know that the the, the reason I say that? Because the the, the kanji the kanji had one part that marks the reading and the other part marks the meaning. Hi, so hi. ken ken and sword already had the 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 part that marks a blade, and then the other the other portion just just indicate the the sound of it. Yep, it all depends on what the dude who was assigning kanji was thinking of when he was assigning the kanji. Right. If he was like, oh, uh, yeah. oh, this this has the same thing there, aha. If he was doing that that day, or if he was trying to make something more meaning based, like hori, right? Um, hori doesn't have a sound component, but it does have the same kanji of mizu because they're like, well, might as well keep the meaning component in that case. So it all, it all depends on who was on duty for that specific vocab word. Adunai is danger. The other steep, which is key. Let me see here. It's key can. Key can. can you read this word for me? It's Zen Kai. Hi. Zen Kai means last time. Last time. Uh, it's ended with Kai. What did it start with? Start with Zen. Zen Kai no Zen. Hi. Let's go read the example sentence. It's it's my, but here it's read as Zen. So Hi, it's, it's Zen Kai Shou. Zenkai Shonen. No, it's not Shonen. It's Kozo. Hi. Zenkai Kozo. Wa. Neko ni natta ga. Konkai wa nani naru in daro. It said previously, the boy was turned into a cat. Hi. This time, what should he be turned into? What will he be turned into? Where did should come from? Daro. Ah. Um, should would be more like hazu. <laughs> Oh, not really has in this kind of would be like I guess at all <laughs> I don't know that all doesn't really have a should that all just is like I wonder what he will become it's just the I wonder in that mm. contrast if you have a question word plus that all it's going to be I wonder and if there's no question word it's going to be probably that kind of be tends to be how that all is translated should I'm not sure how that would be illustrated. Can you read this word for me? I see. So uh that is for oh something is old there. So furui? Furui? Um so this is the opposite of furui. The opposite of furui. Hi. 
Oh, the opposite of shufui is waka. Hi, this looks exactly like wakai. So that, but um, wakai, which means young. However, what do old people think when they see someone young? <laughs> The opposite of furui. This is the opposite of furui. Uh, I, I, I'm just uh, continuing like how things look like, similar to get different talks of logic. So the opposite of furui is wakai. Yes, that is correct. Furui means old, wakai means young. So what do old people think when they see young people? They feel nigai. They feel nigai. <laughs> they feel bitter. Oh, bitter. This is taste. Uh, it doesn't have to be taste. In this context, it's just like bitter is both taste. It, it's the same as the English word bitter, right? A I bitter see. face would be like a kind of grumpy look on your face. Like, mmm, just crunching your Nigai. thing up. Nigai. Hey, Nigai. Nigai gao It's like bitter look on his face. A growly face. Exactly, a growly face. Hi. So that's what the old people think when they look at the young people. <laughs> so the exact same kanji of nigai is this one right here in the word kurushi, which do you happen to know that word? It's pretty common. Kurushi. Kurushi. Uh... Kurushi is bitterly. Not yeah. bitterly. Well, painful. 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 Oh, it is a adjective. Um, kurushi. Kurushi. Yeah. Kurushi uh, means painful. So different pronunciation than nagai and different meaning, but same kanji. Um, um, da -da -da. Can you read this word for me? Uh, wakata. Yujo. Yuzo. Oh my. So earlier it was yes. do as in majutsushi do, the hall. Different kanji. That's uh, this is nichijo no jo, which means like normal, tsune, uh, tsune, normal. Um, the word you're thinking about from majutsu do, um, do. Oh, it's a different kanji. It's 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 a fully different kanji. Um, Majutsu do. Majutsu do. do. Right here. See, to totally it's different. This the other do. Hi. Uh, it's different. Jo. This is jo as in common. Yes. Regularly. So yes. chu jo is the normal way of things. The typical. Yes. Yu jo. Hi, hi, hi. And what does tomo now mean? Tomo now is to accompany. Perfect. To wind up together. Hi, hi. So let's go read the example sentence. Uh, this is abunai, but it's ki, ken, o, tomo nata. To twine up with danger. To accompany danger. Shigoto da. It is, the, it is work. That entails danger. Part of the Hi. job. Perfect. And how do you read this word right here that ends with she? It's from nigai, but it's not nigai. It's shiru. Mm -hmm. Kuru. Kuru shi. Hi. Kuru shi. With a kuru shi, sound familiar. Kuru se. Kuru se. Very like common that. in um anime. Kurushi, kurushi means um painful. Kurushi is painful. Hi hi. And how do you read this word right here? It's kozo. Hi kozo. Ko. And can you read this word for me? It's to hurt. Hi, you're correct. Itami. Itami. Perfect. Itami. So let's go read what it says in the book. This is what Nevery has written in his diary. Ooh. I see. So it's you show. Is that right, you before? 
It's you definitely t. Did I write you? I did write that. It's t. Uh, it's definitely t. Um, t. It's a job. Two job. I think a new job was weird. Two job. Two job. Henshi no jutsu ni wa itami ga tomonao. Normally, the transformation technique accompany pain, or it comes with pain. Hi. Uh, Zenkai Benetto ni kaketa toki wa. The time when I put this, the time when I apply it to Benet. Previously, previously when I apply it to Benet, hidoku. I don't know what hidoku means, but it's an uh, adverb. Terribly. Terribly. Hidoi uh, means terrible. And it's, oh my, uh, painful was ku, kura, not kurashi. I forgot it again. Kurushi. Kuru, kuru. Okay. Uh, yeah, that is uh, kurushimu in this case rather than kurushi. Uh, same. It's the same as the adjective. Um, it means to be in pain. It's in pain. Hi. Hidoku. It's a lot. Hi. So he was in a lot of pain. Kurushinde. Yes. Kurumu. He thought he was. He was in a lot of pain. Hi. But the boy. See this what here, meaning but. Because it changes yeah. topic. Just have the also the literal but there too as well. Ah, look at that. But that is why the wa is in here. You are correct. It is in it's... there to show the difference between Bennett and that guy. But we do Hi. have a literal but. <laughs> it's right down Hi. there at the bottom. <laughs> but yes, we do have the grammatical but. It's the ga. Hi, wakata. It's not the ga that is meaning the actors. Hi. Ugh. Kozo wa. Tanoshinde, he is happy. Tanoshinde iru yoni, he seems to be happy. Mieta, I saw it. I saw that he seems to be happy. I observed that he looks happy. Hi, correct. Hi. Yoni, Can you do looks... the whole sentence together for me? Let's go flow it together, and that's what we'll end for the day. Hi, it say normally transformation technique entails pain. Previously, when I apply it to Bennett, he was in a lot of pain. But the boy, uh, I observe he looks to be happy. Hi, he looked like he was having fun. Tanoshin uh, is like to be enjoying. I enjoy, hi, hi. not happy. Happy is 